I want to say reflect the y-axis, ladies and gentlemen. Again, what we could do is take this figure and reflect it over. Okay. Take the figure and reflect it over the y-axis. Okay. Yes, it's all right, Layla. I heard it too. So now what we're going to do um, is we reflect the y-axis. Um, there's again, there's rules, ladies and gentlemen that we can go and apply. So you can take that figure and try to reflect it over that y-axis. But guys, there's rules that we can work with. We remember, when we reflect over the x-axis, the y-value is the only one that changed sign. And when we reflect over the y-axis, if I'm going from the left side to the right side, or from the right side to the left side, the only thing that's changing values is going to be which coordinate, the x or the y? The x, right? So when I want to reflect the y-axis, now my x-coordinate is just going to change signs. All right? So let's go and write down our points. So we have three points, a, which is negative 1, negative 3. We have b, which is 3, common negative 4. And we have c, which is 1, common negative 5. Now if I'm going to reflect these over the y-axis, what I need to do now is apply my rule, which my rule tells me to make the opposite of my x coordinate. So that's going to be 1, comma, negative 3. Shoot. Sorry, remember, that's labeled as not a, but a prime. So that's going to be 1, comma, three, negative 3. This goes to b prime, which is negative 3, comma, negative 4. And this goes to c prime, which is negative 1, comma, shoot, 1, comma, negative 5. So now what we need to do is graph that to see what it's going to look like. All right? So Richard, are you right? Hey, I OK. That's the only time I've ever understood anything in class. Good. Good. Yes. A is negative 1, negative 3. So when I reflect it over the y, y axis, the x coordinate is going to be the only one that's going to change. So let's go and plot these points. I have now have 1, comma, negative 3. Yes? Can you let me do this example, and then you can go? So now, that is going to be my point A prime. My point B is at negative 3 down negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then C prime is at 1, negative 5. Okay. And do you guys see how that is a reflection about this y-axis? You guys see that? How it reflects over? Okay. So that, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, is how you're going to do. Uh, that would be a reflection of the y-axis. All right. Now we have two more we need to get to. And I really want to get you guys to try one of these problems today. So.